Abigail Blackrick. Today I'm joined by Joe Hickerson, a member of the Top of Michigan Amateur Radio Club. Hi Joe, how are you doing today? We're doing real good today. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So can you tell me a little bit about Tomark, the Top of Michigan Amateur Radio Club, and what exactly is amateur radio? Well, the Top of Michigan Amateur Radio Club, you know, commonly known as Tomark, uh, so is a Gaylor-based group of hams, and uh, the club has been around for many, many years. Uh, we have a local repeater that we support, and we'll get into that uh, a little bit later in the ham radio segment. But um, ham radio is, is about communications. It's about hobby. Um, it is, uh, um, we try to promote and advance the radio art. And so it can be a lot of things for a lot of people. But it's more than just a hobby. It can do some really amazing things. How all can it be used? Well, you know, to start with, a lot of folks just like to get on the air and just have conversations with their friends or relatives, either locally or uh, on the other side of the country or on the other side of the world. Uh, many of us, like myself, enjoy the emergency communications, uh, whether it's with the uh, National Weather Service through their Skywarn program. Uh, I'm a member of the Otsego County uh, Racies Group, which is a, a ham radio related emergency group. And uh, that allows us to work with uh, county and state officials in the event of uh, emergencies, and they, they need to have some communications provided beyond what their equipment allows. So we're, we're always there uh, whenever they need us. Terrific. And right now, we're actually in the Emergency Operations Center for Gaylord area, in Otsego County altogether, correct? Yes, we are at the uh, University Center in Gaylord, and uh, they have a, a, a working relationship with the Otsego County Emergency Services uh, to utilize this room in case of an emergency, and it's, it's got a great setup with commu uh, computers and numerous phone lines. Uh, they've set us up with a great ham radio shack here, which would be the envy of, of any ham to have something like this. But uh, it allows us to communicate uh, either long distance. Uh, we do have our, our VHF, UHF radios, which are uh, more of a local thing. So uh, this, is, uh, this is a very nice center, and uh, the, you know, the county appreciates it. And uh, you know, it's nice to have it out here at the university center. Terrific. And as far as distance, how far can these signals reach? How far can you communicate? We uh, actually can communicate as far as, as necessary. Um, most things uh, are, are done on a local basis, and we'll use our VHF equipment, which is typically like your television signals, a line of sight. Uh, we also can uh, get on our uh, HF, high-frequency radios, which uh, we rely on the Earth's propagation, and we can talk either regionally throughout the Midwest on certain frequencies, or if we need to get to the other side of the world, we just uh, spin the dial, change bands, and, and away we go, and, and we can uh, talk around the world pretty much at any, any given time, de depending on propagation. So if somebody wanted to become a member of an amateur radio club in their area, what's kind of the process for becoming a ham? Well, the process, first of all, is uh, the, the desire to tinker with electronics and um, uh, communicate, which I enjoy both. There are a lot of uh, amateur radio groups in the area. Northern Michigan has quite a few. Um, our Tomark group can be accessed uh, via the uh, World Wide Web, uh, nm8rc. Uh, dot org, I believe it is. So anyway, that uh, gets you in contact with us. Uh, Wexford County has a, a very active group down there and also the uh, Cherryland group in Traverse City. Um, so you can contact those folks. I'm sure that their, their websites are easily accessible. Um, or, you know, uh, most people know of a ham in their county, so that we're always looking for new folks, young folks, old folks, doesn't matter. And uh, it's quite the age spectrum. Yes. Uh, total age spectrum you just have to be able to pass the test that's all but uh, they can put you in contact with a ham and how to how to join our ranks well it's quite the industry in interesting industry that you have going on here and that you're a member of well it uh, just seems to kind of you know promote itself year after year but you know we are always looking for the young folks you know, that uh, uh, they may not necessarily be interested in in Morse code and such but the digital electronics the things that uh, that we can get into, we can, we can um, uh, transmit and receive digitally via, via your computer, lots of different modes. So there's always new ways to be found and right. better ways to be found, and we haven't found them all yet. Terrific. Thank you so much, Joe. It was a pleasure. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. With My News 26 in Gaylord, I'm Abigail Blackrick.